What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Now, in the salon, have you ever had a challenge when somebody comes in and they want white hair? Well, today I've got a tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks that I've picked up not only over the last 14 years of doing hair color, but also over the last couple weeks, um, learning from some of the best in the industry. So sit back, relax, and get ready to watch this video. Here we go. Welcome to the video guys. Today we're going to be doing a whiteout technique on my guest Crystal. As you can see, she's got roots, um, probably about a level seven. She's also got blonde ends. I'm going to use two different products, a wet brush and I'm going to use Blonde Life Lightener from Joyco lifts up to nine levels. So we're going to get her super blonde and then I'm going to use a special toner formula that I'll share with you guys at the end. Now, you're going to notice that I did shampoo her prior to putting on this application. Then I go through with the wet brush and I brush her out. The reason um, I'm shampooing her first, I learned this from a guy named Hair Like a Boss, which you guys have seen either on our FSC On Demand app. Um, we just filmed with him a couple weeks ago. I picked up some tips on um, creating that perfect blonde. Now there's two reasons why I'm going to apply this to her wet hair. I clarify her hair first, gets all of the impurities, minerals, everything out of her hair first. Then the other reason I really like this and probably the main reason why I like putting it on her damp hair is the fact that the lightener glides through the hair so easy. Um, like you guys know, when you're putting lightener on the head, it tends to dry up, uh, gets very thick. So when you put it on the damp hair, it just slides right over it. So I like the way that I can saturate the hair using the lightener in that way. Now, I'm doing things a little bit backwards with Crystal because she already has blonde ends and I don't want the lightener sitting on them. So. I'm going in with her base first. So going in, I want to do her whole entire base uh, prior to um, the ends just because I want to get that lightning. I want to get it lifting up. The other thing I want you to notice is how much saturation I'm doing. I'm saturating fully like you can't even see through it, really caking it on. I'm going to go through a lot of lightener doing this, but this is also a more expensive process to do in the salon. So you want to make sure you're charging for it but you don't want to skimp on lightener because that's what's going to give you the most even result at the end. The other thing I like about using multiple uh, ounces of lightener is the fact that it starts to kind of conceal the hair or um, incubate the hair as you're going along and it doesn't dry up. So I think where a lot of people go wrong doing this technique is that they, they'll not saturate the hair as much and it starts to dry really quickly so they only get about 10-15 minutes of lift when you actually have it fully saturated and it's the product stays wet you get um, multiple like a lot longer uh, of lift so maybe 20-30 minutes of lift instead of that um, like honestly this never even dried up and I had this on for probably about 40 minutes total so um, now I'm speeding everything up I'm gonna work through it um, no need to talk through this guy's doing the same thing throughout the route as we go. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the top. Now, a lot of you guys might be saying, um, or thinking that why did I start in the back and not in the front because the front um, you want to get lifting and going so uh, the reason I like to do that and just this is just over my years of doing hair I find that um, the back is always the hardest to process I don't know why um, but I also find that I'd never want to over process the front so sometimes you can over process a little bit so I would much rather start that process in the very back I also only take about um, 10 to 15 minutes to apply this so the difference between the back um, portion and the front is not that large so it doesn't take that long for the front to catch up um, that gets the most heat I believe because when I put the rotator on uh, from Minerva I've got that processor the color processor that rotates around her head so when I put that on her hair that's um, really getting the top the most. I mean, it does reach around to the back, but the back has so much density. So my feeling is, and 
Um, again, it's just my opinion, but I believe that the front processes much faster than the back does. So I like to start with that. So I just work my way through, still doing the roots um, and finishing up the sides of the head. moving into the back and and really just pulling it from mid shaft to ends at this point so we've already started the process we got our whole roots on I start working that lightener in now notice how many times I apply more and more lightener I load her head her head's probably gonna weigh about five pounds after I'm done putting the lightener on so I just work that through from uh, scalp to ends working in checking um, the base making sure it's still fully saturated and pulling the product through now, the other thing I really love about this is that because I, I started it on damp hair, how smooth the product works through, we talked about that at the beginning, I think it creates less damage because you're not pulling and tugging on the hair when the bleach starts to dry off. So I really, really like this process. Um, it was one of the biggest things I took from Hair Like a Boss doing his technique was putting it on the damp hair. I really, really like that. So uh, just painting it through multiple coats of lightener soaking the hair uh, to get a nice even result at the end to incubate it and everything like that much lightener I put on Crystal's head but that's the key guys you want to make sure that it stays saturated does not dry up and then you get that hold so now I'm going in with a great product that will help fight frizz but it also detangles the hair which is kind of what I'm using it for and it's made for blondes this is the uh, Joyco blonde life brightening veil really dig this product for working through the hair now I'm going to go in on damp hair and apply my um, toner, which is the 9SB um, from Joico, which is their Demi line. So I'm going through and I'm just working that through again on damp hair. It's got a really, really nice deposit to it. So as long as you are at that level 9, 10 area, um, you get a really cool result with this product. So I'll work that through scalp to ends. And then um, this one I did start in the front because I want to make sure that is the spot that gets it the longest. And I just keep working that product through uh, up and down. And now you can see our end result, how blonde, how bright, um, the nice even tone that it gets. So I hope you guys find this technique valuable. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'd love to answer them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. Make sure you check out um, freesaloneducation.com for more videos. And go to joyco.com if you want to learn more about the products used in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, guys, and like always, if you liked this video, then make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel. I got new videos coming out all the time and go to fseondemand.com and download our app. We have hundreds of free education videos all organized and ready for you to watch on there. Like always, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel and make sure if you made it this far in the video all the way to the end, you let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.